Hello and welcome to this review of Southern Comfort Black. Don't know when the Southern Comfort Black hit the market, but I know the original Southern Comfort was from 1874. The original name was Cuffs and Buttons, but uh, they changed it to Southern Comfort pretty quickly. M.W. Heron developed this liqueur. This is the 80 proof version, the black. The original is 70 proof, and then there's a 100 proof, super strong version. Uh, spirit whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. Produced by Sazerac Company, New Orleans, Louisiana. I called them last week and they said that, well, actually, some of this is produced in New Orleans at their little basically micro distillery, but the vast majority is from Kentucky. All right. <clears throat> Just like the Sazerac ride. There's a little bit at the uh, New Orleans Sazerac house on Canal Street at their, like I said, their micro distillery. But most of that is from uh, Kentucky also. The Spirit of New Orleans Southern Comfort 1874. But their headquarters is in New Orleans, so... It, uh, at least they're controlled by people in New Orleans. Um, Sazerac is a privately owned company owned by Mr. and Mrs. William Goldring. And don't know how long Bill, Mr. and Mrs. Bill Goldring are going to run it because he's getting up in age. I don't know what the situation is with his inheritance. Liquor companies getting bought, sold, and traded is nothing new. Okay. Anyway, put that over there. Um, spirit whiskey is whiskey that is less than 20% straight whiskey. It's over 80% grain neutral spirit so so there's there's 19 percent 18 percent 17 percent um straight whiskey in here and over 80 percent grain spirits and then they have all these secret natural botanicals you know spices and whatnot which you'll never find out what those are all right so let's Check out this product. There are a couple of video reviews for it. I thought there'd be more, but I only found two. Um, this one smells strongly of cherry. Now, my friend David says, yeah, don't you know Southern Comfort's a cherry liqueur? I said, no, I don't know anything about it, really. I just know a lot of people drank it. I see it at every liquor store in the world that I've been to. Uh, it's caramel, because caramel color added. Otherwise, it'd be clear. So you get the cherry and other indistinguishable spices. Yes, yeah, so it smells nice, looks nice, tastes, cheers. I think a casual person would say, what? It tastes like whiskey. It does have a whiskey flavor, you know, like they're probably using maybe like mm, Buffalo Trace or Ancient Age straight bourbon in it. Just a guess. A cherry note, I guess they might be using pureed, pureed cherry, maybe black cherries. Um, various spices that, like I say, you can't really tell what, I can't. You might be able to. I can't tell what they are. Um, maybe vanilla. Something else. A lot of a lot of things else. A lot a lot more. You know, just not cherry and vanilla. So it's hard to say, but um, is there a reason Southern Comfort is very popular? Yeah, it's not because of advertising. When's the last time you've seen a Southern Comfort ad? 
long time. But you go in liquor stores, there'll be point of sale things sometimes, like posters, this month only, whatever, Southern Comfort. You, you do see that, but... And in Louisiana, you will see billboards, okay? So Sazerac does put billboards up, Southern Comfort, from time to time. Then mainly, the, their billboards around here are, like, almost totally taco vodka. I was driving around yesterday, I must have saw it must have seen four different Takabaka billboards. Mix as well, just add people. <laughs> or the, uh, what did it, what does it say, the um, Taste of New Orleans, something like that, but their main tagline is mix as well, just add people. So, but you will see uh, Southern Comfort um, billboards occasionally. And Buffalo Trace. Um, I'll give it a high score. Um, I don't see why people are ragging on Southern Comfort. I hear, I've seen some videos where they're just going like overboard, talking about how horrible it is. And then they'll make, bring up descriptors that it's clearly not any of those. But uh, I'll go with the, um, for the black, I'll go with the A minus, uh, 92 out of 100. It's pretty nice. Uh, a nine, I wouldn't go lower than that. 9.2 out of 10, uh, an excellent product. Whatever people are using it for, I don't know. There's a lot of recipe ideas on their website. You know what I'm saying, for cocktails. So most people are probably beer in, in that direction. But I'm having it neat and out of the freezer. Don't think these would be good at room temperature by any means. But put it in the freezer for at least 24 hours, and I think you'll be satisfied with it. So I got the little sample bottles for 99 cents. So at Total Wine and More in Metairie, Louisiana. So Les Le Bon Tourmalet, an excellent product, liqueur product from Sazerac, who makes a whole array of excellent products of every sort. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to New Orleans and visit the Sazerac House.